Hi everyone, giving you a big foodie cuddle. I thought it would be quite nice to cook together, um, something nourishing and healthy, um, exciting for a night in, in lockdown perhaps. So it's an Asian dish, um, a Asian lovely stir fry that you can enjoy in cos lettuce cups if you choose to do so. So I'll go through the ingredients. I'll put all the shopping ingredients, um, I'll type that up for us to make it really easy. But basically, we have got 500 grams of chicken mince. Now I will tell you that I have got two vegetarian daughters and I eat a lot of vegetarian myself. So we are all going to have the same dish, but I'm going to do exactly the same, um, use the exact same ingredients and make a vegetarian version. And I'm, instead of the chicken, I'm going to replace that with some black beans, which I've got here. There we go. So it's important that you rinse those um, really, really well before you use them. Another vegetarian alternative for this could be some cooked quinoa, if you've got that already in the fridge. Now, I apologize for my angle. I feel like I'm a bit of a dwarf, but I'm trying to get you to see the food as well. So I have got a mortar and pestle. If you don't have one, I will talk you through um, what you can use instead. But basically we're making a garlic and chili paste in that. I have got some beans that I have washed and just roughly chopped. I've got some fish sauce and some soy sauce, a couple of tablespoons of each. My favorite, um, I, I'm not affiliated with Mega Chef at all, at all, but I really love um, their soy sauce and their fish sauce. If you have another fish sauce um, that you might have bought from the supermarket, it'll be far saltier than what I'm using. So just perhaps knock back um, the quantity and add more at the end if you want to. Four garlic cloves, a couple of chilies, just here, some oil to cook in, some spring onions, I'm just seeing if I've missed anything, a little bit of brown sugar, and I've got some salt and pepper. If you're ready to cook, you need to grab a board, you need to grab a wok or a large frying pan. Um, what else do you need? That's about it, cutting board knife. So let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, you want one of your red chilies, slice it up, add all the garlic and a really good pinch of salt, and then work that in the mortar and pestle until you get a really, really rough paste. The working it in the mortar and pestle is really good if you're a bit cranky in lockdown, so get in there, bash it about. Um, if you don't have a mortar and pestle, that's absolutely fine. What you're going to do is use a board, pop your chilli and your garlic and your salt on the board and do the work on the board. Just finely chop it, work your knife across it and make a really rough paste. Now I have got a pan on the heat with my oil in and I'm going to toast off my paste. Okay, so we're toasting off our garlic and chilli paste and just keep stirring it. You don't want it to burn. So I've got it on a medium high heat, but stir, 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 you don't want it to burn. And now we're going to add our chicken mince. And same, just keep stirring that. Increase your heat to high and just let's start cooking this chicken free. Smells good for wedding. So good. Okay, chicken should be starting to become a little bit golden. You don't want to overcook it, you want to retain the moisture. So really a couple of minutes. Once you're on high heat, a couple of minutes really should do it. We're going to add our green beans. And toss those around. When you were um, cooking the mince, a really good idea to just break it up a little bit with your spatula as well as tossing it around your pan. Okay, make sure you're still on a high heat. Now I'm going to add the rest of my chili. So remember I only did one chili in the mortar and pestle and now I'm adding the other chili sliced up. We want some brown sugar. 
That will almost caramelize, be really lovely. Okay, I have got the bottom end, so of my spring onions that I'm popping in now. And once this is off the heat, I will stir through the tops that I've sliced up. It smells so good. Okay, some pepper. Tiny bit more salt, but really we're getting the salt because we're in Asia right now. We're getting the salt from the fish sauce. So in goes the fish sauce, in goes the soy sauce, and toss that around. Beautiful. We're nearly done. Dinner is nearly done. Okay, have a taste. Mm. I nearly double dipped my spoon <laughs> but I remember I was filming so if you want you can serve it with some lime wedges or a, a beautiful squeeze of lime you could throw in some coriander or some Thai basil if you've got some we have the other part the other end of our spring onions that I'm popping in now so don't shop for ingredients um, unnecessarily. Just make do with what you have on hand. And then simply serve it in the lettuce cups. Make some little beautiful Asian noodles to go with it if you like in a soy broth or just some steamed rice is perfectly fine and delicious also. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Well done. Well done, everyone cooked a really beautiful, nourishing, tasty, good for you dinner to have indoors during lockdown. I hope you've loved it um, and I hope you have a really cozy, lovely night in. Thanks so much for being here. Enjoy!